What is up, guys? Today I'd like to talk about the importance of effective communication and ultimately kind of why I fell in love with communication or the pursuit of perfect communication, which is something I'll never achieve. It's an endless pursuit, that is for certain. So thinking about this, I go all the way back to when I graduated college and got my first job a job for a company that I still work for today in a much different capacity than I did back then. Fresh mechanical engineering undergrad, not really understanding the way the world worked and not really understanding what it is that I wanted to do. Some days I would tell you that I might not still understand it, but I don't think that's true anymore. Back then, I still had this concept or I had this foundation of a concept, the infancy of an idea, that my impact as a, an individual person, as one person, was never going to be that big. And ultimately, the idea of leadership or the idea of influence was very attractive to me because of the idea that the impact of a hundred people is significantly larger than one person. So if I wanted to make a significant change and leave a mark, make an impact and thereby matter the way I was going to define it. I would need people's help and I probably have to figure out how to get that help. And some of the early lessons that you would learn, or I guess maybe the problems with traditional engineers is that they think the best idea is going to win or most engineers i guess would say the right idea which their idea is always the right one probably not neither of those two things really are the case in my experience what i've found is that the idea that generally wins is the idea that is the closest to giving the audience what they want and the idea of the audience didn't really come up until a couple years into my career and ultimately really got firmed up when I went and started my MBA. One of the first classes I got to take was organizational communication, which is still probably my favorite class and always will be, which is probably crazy coming from an engineer. But the idea of the audience and considering what's important to them and ultimately the messaging that then you therefore craft and ultimately the influence that you try to kind of exert or the way that you fill the needs and desires of the audience in order to basically increase your impact, right? And by impacting the audience, you can ultimately maybe achieve a greater impact or at least calm the needs and desires of the audience. There's a lot of different factors that come in there, but then the audience just in and of itself that generates this idea of understanding the needs and wants, the desires of a person or a group of people. And again, as an engineer, empathy was probably not my strong suit. So that was something to go chase and learn. And it's actually endless learning and endless amounts of problems. So told this a little bit out of order here, but the reason why I became an engineer, I believe, is ultimately because I love solving problems. And engineering at the time, I was good at math and physics, and it's full of problems. Problems that interested me back then. Not so much in the real world application of engineering. But this all weaves into communication. And there's one last key part that I think ties into communication relative for me. It's the idea that I will only be as impactful as my ability to influence others. So we could include this all under the idea of leadership, but really truthfully, I think they're pretty synonymous. I think they go together hand in hand. That I doubt you'll ever find a leader that is a poor communicator actually a leader that people want to follow in any case. And so there has to be a strength of communication. And it's really truthfully one of the biggest things that I think is missing from a lot of people and missing 
from a lot of subsets of society and a lot of subsets of organizations and in a lot of relationships. This idea is you're going to go through your whole life with various relationships and how can you make those the most meaningful that they can be and how can you support others to achieve the greatest things in their lives. And I think it's by being an effective communicator and providing the support necessary. Now, if I sum up why communication is so important and why it's so important to me, ultimately the summary comes down to impact. Your impact in the world will be limited by the relationships that you have in multiple different regards. In studying storytelling a lot recently, and one of the ways that I put, or that it was put in a podcast I listened to, was that a story is simply an intention and an obstacle. So my intention is always improvement. And the obstacle that presents itself is different at various times. But often it's changing the beliefs of an individual or gaining the right support from a colleague or from a superior. Or in some instances, obviously it can be with your significant other. The idea of improving the relationship or improving an aspect of the relationship and the obstacle is the level of understanding you have with one another and the agreement that you come down to. In each and every regard, what I think intrigues me the most about it is really three key things that align with who I am and that I find fascinating. The first of which is that it's an endless amount of problems. You're going to encounter all these different people throughout your life and the problems that you'll face with them problems, quote unquote, will be different. The communication problems are endless based upon people, based upon situation, based upon the issues, all aspects of that. Additionally, second is learning. In order to be successful and try to address these issues and try to solve these problems, you have to learn a lot about other people, how they work, what matters to them, what is important to them. And lastly, improvement, both in enabling others' improvement and myself. Like I have to get better. Every time I'm in a conversation and it doesn't go the way I want it to is an opportunity for improvement. So it's never ending. It is true continuous improvement. And it's a constant evolving of skill. The issues that I handle today and the people that I work with today are significantly higher than ever, any challenge I've ever faced before. And the hope is that that continues, especially as I lean into talking about and potentially teaching communication more and more. I think it is an underappreciated skill that we take for granted because we communicate every day, often poorly. Practice doesn't inherently make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. I don't really know how that goes. So maybe that's not right. These are just a couple of the ideas that I have surrounding communication, why I think it matters, but to put it simply one more time, is due to impact and influence. I've talked about philosophy several times on this channel and in this series, and while I think it is incredibly important to have the right philosophy and to be focused on yourself more than uh, most other things, influence is a significant other piece of life. The only thing you can control is yourself, but the other than that, you can influence all the things around you. I like to use the analogy of the sun. Ultimately, I doubt that the sun cares that there's planets in the galaxy, yet it influences the path of those planets. It influences Earth by providing all the energy for us to be able, for this to be an inhabitable planet. And the sun is the center of the universe. That's what you should be. You should be the center of your world, influencing those around you, maintaining control of yourself. That influence can only be conducted via communication. And so I find it incredibly fascinating that one way or the other, we're going to be interacting with individuals and that interaction is ultimately going to lead to whatever type of success and whatever type of realm that you want to have. 
And even if I am a recovering engineer who ultimately is an introvert or is very introspective, I understand the value of that. And I hope by listening to my story here, maybe that gives you a little bit of value relative to communication and maybe you can connect with it in a little bit different way or understand and gain an appreciation of it with a different perspective. Let me know what you think in the comments. Drop a like. Subscribe. But I hope you appreciate the story I shared and I'm sure it will get better as I practice more. So thanks for checking it out. You can't lose if you don't quit.